first Holmes was born. Then he got fat, bald, and tired, tired, tired. What's up, Holmes? You don't have a huge team to work with, so you're sticking with what you love and know, which is pros. Uh, but let's say you suddenly were in a position to make a huge multi-million dollar game, which, which could happen. You never know. You could end up being the Robert Rodriguez of game development, going from making your own small stuff to then being handed the new Spy Kids, the game. That could be you. So what if, if you were uh, tasked to make a huge blockbuster, would you even want to do it? And if you uh, and if you did want to do it, do you have any ideas as to how you would go about it? It's a tough one. It's a tough question. It's okay if you can't think of anything to say, but I just can't help but want to ask you, just in case. I don't think anything I'd want to make with a blockbuster budget would actually be anything a publisher would want me to make with a blockbuster budget. But what I would do with millions of dollars is I would make Mass Effect, except with magical girls instead. With magical so what? Magical girls. So Magical you'd have girls. All sorts of flashing colors. You'd have it, you know, the character creator with your transformation sequence. You'd have lots and lots of conversations about feelings, and also about fighting monsters. <laughs> you know, it's so funny you would say that because uh, have you heard of the game Code of Princess? I've seen this, and it's um, interesting. I guess would be the word. <laughs> the uh, the illustrator for that game, I'm blanking on her full name. I think it's Nishimura is her last name. Um, she That's exactly what she wanted the game to be, which is just an RPG with magical girls talking about feelings and fighting monsters occasionally. And they uh, slowly just turned that into just a violent beat-em-up in the style of Guardian Heroes, which, which is weird. Uh, but maybe you could team up with Nishimura-san. Make a magical girl. Is that shoujo? They call that shoujo? Yeah, that would be that would be fun. Really, um, and I don't see why that wouldn't be hugely popular. People like that shoujo manga, don't they? Yeah. Um, no, I I think we've got a real un untapped uh, market here. People who are playing Gears of War, but what they really want is cute sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I but just there are uh, no games with cute sparkles, so we'll have to go for blood splatter instead. Well, then there's Lollipop Chainsaw, which is filled with sparkles. I don't know if you've uh, seen or played that game. I just finished writing a huge article about it, Not but yet, um, no. I wonder what you'll think of it. I don't know your tastes well enough. Uh, some people absolutely hate it because they think it's pandering to the sexy American cheerleader fetish, and that's it. Other people think that it's taking that fetish and turning it on its head because she is destroying everything and everyone that comes at her, treating her like a sex object by uh, beheading them immediately, sometimes five or six zombies at a time, just killing them all. So there's uh, two very discreet sides of the argument. Um, yeah, I wish I could, I wish you'd played it so then we could talk about it. But we can't. Darn. Maybe next time. But, uh, yeah, your, your shoujo RPG idea, I think it might be brilliant. Could you work on it now, given your current budget, or do you have something else planned, uh, given where you're at in terms of your career at the moment? Right now, I just want to, like, do sorts of small things and slowly working towards, um, um, like, larger style profits, because mostly just... I don't actually know how to do really big things right now. Like, I have mm. no idea how to work with more than two people. Uh, Even gotcha. that is all just new to me, so it's sort of a matter of building up to that because, like, digital or don't take it personally, baby, we're all done in the span of a single month. Analog, really? I took, yeah, analog, I took six whole months to work on, it, and that's the longest I've ever worked on any single project at once. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is really small stuff. This is like, I have no idea how I cope with spending an entire year on a project. So I want to, you know, learn how to actually do that first before huh. I really dive into it. How humble but, you know, are I you? Know, I just don't want to be that person, you know, who um, uh, suddenly makes a bunch of money and decides to throw it at the most crazy, ambitious thing she could think of, and um, invariably it turns out she doesn't actually know how to manage that. This is like this is a story you hear so many times. So I, I'm just trying to be a little bit cautious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. That gives me hope. 
I mean, I'd be excited if you were just going to go completely nuts, too, to see what would happen. But but for your own longevity, it would make sense to, to pace yourself. That makes a lot of sense. Still go completely nuts, just um, not in length. <laughs> right, right. Not uh, not in scope uh, in terms exactly. of the, the game. That makes sense. Uh, oh, what are your thoughts on the new Sailor Moon series? Asks uh, Confusedal Confused Dalek. I'm well. Right now, we know absolutely nothing about this, other than there's going to be a new Sailor Moon series, and we also know who will be performing the opening theme. It isn't really much to go on, but I'm really excited about it. I love Sailor Moon. I want to see more Sailor Moon. So long as it's you know continues to be crazy, and if it does something different from the other ones, which so far every bit of Sailor Moon fiction I've done, so I'm totally new. Like there's a live action series which is just scales up the camp and does a lot of different things. There's, um, there's the anime, which diverges from the comics a lot. So I feel like, so long as it gets that, I'm going to be really excited about it. About Sailor Moon. That's, I would never have guessed. Uh, you, you told me earlier you like uh, Magical Girl stuff. Tell me why you like it. I'm so befuddled. Um, Sailor Moon, honestly, it's, I'm not going to lie, I probably would not be into it if I didn't watch it when I was like four. Mm, like, mm-hmm. it was, you know, this was formative childhood experience for me. But, no, it's, um, it's an action show about women who are, which actually does, despite being on um, in Japan, has some great um, ideas about um, gender and uh, role models. Mm. There's, um, I mean, really, if that's what Sailor means about. There's no wrong way to be a girl. Huh. There's, um, you know, there's people who have boyish interests, there's the people who cry all the time, there's the lesbians, there's, I really, I just love Sailor it's, um, it's, um, because it's Because it says that there's no wrong way to be a woman. See, a dummy Sailor like me, who's only seen Sailor Moon in passing, wouldn't know that. No, and to be fair, most of it, what it's really about is, um, you know, it's just, it's an action cartoon, but it's, um, sure. I feel like, you know, that's a really good message for them. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. 